So the job search has changed over the years, yeah. everything from different expectations uh, for employers, employees, and the way that we use the internet to apply. So today we're talking about some of those changes as we prepare for the next decade. Randy Wooden is here with the Professional Center by Goodwill Technology has changed so much. It has reshaped the workplace yeah, essentially. It has, and how we, how we look for jobs, how we find jobs, how we interview for jobs, all of that has changed and technology has been the, the common denominator through all of that. So we need to understand how it's affected the, the job search. So, but first a look back, let's say 10, 15 or more years ago, you didn't have the internet or it wasn't as prevalent as it is now. And so the way that companies advertise for jobs was to put an ad in the Sunday paper. Well, that was expensive and it was only a one time thing. If you didn't happen to see it or somebody didn't show it to you, you missed out. And so as a result, you have fewer applicants applying for work. There was a, more opportunity to come in and shake a hand and actually talk to the HR person, that kind of thing. Well, the internet's changed that. There still are unadvertised jobs out there, but for the most part, companies can advertise their openings on their website for free. So you can still have access to it. That means now, instead of maybe 15 or 20 or 50 people, you might have 500 people applying or more. More competition for people that yeah, or trying to find absolutely, those jobs. and that includes the 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 the, the right on people, the wannabes, and the never worse. You've got a whole litany of folks. So how does a company sort, sort through, that. through that exactly? And so now we've seen more of what are called applicant tracking systems, or ATS. All that means really is it's an automated system, just like with the TV station. You can automate when commercials play. You know where every, cameras have to be at what point. It's the same with companies. This is a tracking mechanism so that. For example, one of my colleagues is retiring. We would run the ad now at a glance. My boss or anybody could go in and see where everybody stands in that hiring process. It's a way to automate the system to help manage that tsunami of, app of those applicants Absolutely. that come in. And it's so it makes it even more competitive for people who are going for that new job. So how, yeah. I know networking is a big deal. How yeah. could that be the yeah. big impactor to make you stand just, out too? Just for round numbers, let's say they get 100 applicants. I can weed 50 out like that. They're right. just not, not a fit. So now I'm staring at 50, maybe 25 that are pretty good. How do I, I'm not going to do 25 interviews. So if Daniel calls me or somebody who knows Daniel calls me or emails me and says, hey, take a look at John Doe, I'm going to pull them out of the stack. And that's why networking today, I would argue, is even more important than it was back in the day, simply because the numbers are so much larger now. You need to get noticed. Need to get noticed, and and, uh, and whenever it comes to using the internet too, as a, a person who wants to create their own website to show, hey, here I am. Yeah. I'm looking for a job. Real quick, uh, how can they make their website stand out in a digital age like this? Well, again, there's not only social media, but also making sure you have keywords and that you've got the the data points on the on the uh, the website, so that the spiders that crawl the internet <laughs> will pick up those words. And again, based on relevance, you'll show up higher in a search. But he, we'll talk, we've got one more segment today. We're gonna talk Absolutely. a little bit about social media, the rise of staffing firms, and just maybe one or two other little surprises and about it, things that have changed over and the And that years. leads us to this. R Randy Wooden will join us once again after 8.30. And you can contact him. We're posting a number there at the bottom of your screen. Uh, Goodwill Professional Center. The website is goodwillprofessionalcenter.org. You can also email him at procenter at goodwillnwnc.org. Or you can call him the number 336-464-0516.